back here, right? No. All we have to do tomorrow is be with you, Timmy. And drink eggnog. I mean, be with you, Noggy. It's Christmas! Again! Eggnog. Eggnog. Merry Christmas! Again! But, honey, you have to go to school and we have to go to work. No, you don't! Look! On the second day of Christmas, my true love gave to me Two turtle doves and a partridge in a pear tree. Well, okay. The calendar's never lied to me yet. See? Santa came again! It's Christmas! Again! Geronimo! Again! We hope you enjoyed your second day of Christmas, Timmy. These have been the best two Christmases ever. Wouldn't it be great if we could be together like this all the time? It sure would, Timmy. But your mother and I have to work. Eggnog doesn't buy itself, you know. No, you don't. If it kept being Christmas, I just don't know what we'd do. We'd probably panic. Oh, <laughs> well, good night. It's Christmas! Again? Again? fourth day of Christmas, I have to get more eggnog. And I'm good with that. Oh, thanks, Lockjaw. All right, Nog! Oh, this is hopeless. There's nothing here that'll help me get to the North Pole. Darn it! I've looked under this high-speed snowmobile, portable power generator, all this survival gear, a detailed map from our house to the North Pole, so simple that even a ten-year-old child could read, and I can't find the eggnog anywhere! Smile! Yeah! <laughs> trophy senses tingling to the trophy case! <laughs> what happened here? Uh, I melted your trophy with heat vision? Where did you get heat vision? Internet? Oh, he's good. I won this trophy 30 years ago when I was your age, and you melted it. I'm so mad. I wish beams of heat could come out of my eyes right now. No, no, ours is the one with the silly pink hat. Go to your room, and don't come out until you learn responsibility for other people's property, nor welding skills. Whatever comes first. <laughs> Happy birthday, Timmy. It's not my birthday. Every day is your birthday when you stop a goat napper. Hero. Come in. Honey, are you okay? Yeah, but can I ask you something? You'd still love me even if I wasn't a hero, right? Oh, of course we would, honey. What if, hypothetically, I was the goat napper? Well, son, then I'd have to do this. Hypothetically, of course. Well, good night, son, whom I would hate to discover was actually the goat napper. Oh, oh. Hip, 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 hip. Grounded? Well, sure, honey. We're proud of you for telling the truth, but you still lied to the entire town. But my lie made everything better. I know it was wrong, but doesn't that count for anything? Ah! Apparently not. Good 
Night Sun we still love, even though he's a grounded goat napper. <sighs> well, what's the matter, Timmy? Why aren't you and your friends hitting each other in the head with your ball? Ah, oh, that creep dentist down the street won't give me my ball back because he doesn't like my teeth. Oh, really? Well, let's see if we can reason with him. Now go on their bad tooth, boy, and never talk in our doorway again with your horrible bite radius. Here's your new boomerang, Wendell. Ha <laughs> ha! This sure is a fun boomerang that's mine now. Ha <laughs> ha! Give me back my ball, Wendell. What's the word I'm looking for? Oh, yeah. No! Ha <laughs> ha! You must be Dr. Bender, and that must be Timmy's ball. May we have it back? In this order. Right, right, and no, Mama Toothface. Well, you clearly don't know the rules of Timmy Ball. Oh? That's right. You play it like this. You know, Timmy, perfect teeth might be nice, but if they're in a mouth that's mean, they might as well not be in the mouth at all. Thanks, Mom. I don't know what you just said, but it sure makes me feel better. My dentures! Give me back my perfect teeth! Jump ball, come on. You want it? Work for it. And, dude, you left these at my house. Ah! Don't, don't belong in there! Who wants to play Timmy Ball? Uh, uh well, I... I... for my special birthday dinner. Cookies for dinner? With our phone number on them. Sure. Tonight's the night of the Chip Skylark concert. Your mom and I are gonna throw these to Chip while he's on stage. And maybe he'll call us and offer to be your big brother. You guys are going to the concert? Tonight of all nights? What's so special about Chip Skylark? Open your eyes, son. That team's delicious. <laughs> Good gosh, son. We have a special surprise for you. A surprise? What is it? What? It's Vicky. Hello, Mr. and Mrs. Turner. Hello, kid who's not Chip Skylark. She's being paid quadruple to babysit so we can go to the Chip Skylark concert tonight. And there's extra money in there so you kids can watch the concert on pay-per-view. Have a fun, Chip-filled night. Where is Chip Skylark? If Chip doesn't show up, I'm going to punish our child for no reason. Jimmy, if you're watching this, run! Don't worry about forgetting that my birthday was today, Mom and Dad. It's okay. <sighs> what? Forgot your birthday? We'd never forget your birthday, Tommy. Your birthday is until tomorrow. What? Happy, Happy almost, almost birthday, birthday Timmy. Timmy. Where could Timmy be? Honey, check the watch I made you. It's a... noon. It's a half hour till race time. He's probably still polishing the bike. He loves that bike so much. Hey, Dad! Where's your bike? This is my bike. You mean you've been riding this bike the whole time and not the one I made you? Yeah. I mean, did you see how fast I was just going? We're going to win. If that's what you want, son, fine. I'll be right over here doing my pre-race deep breathing exercises. Don't be alarmed if it looks like I'm sobbing. Oh, and if my eyes start to water, then that's normal, too. What's the matter with Dad? Timmy, do you know why I use the clearly dangerous things your dad makes for me? It's because I love your dad, and it makes him happy to see me use them. <laughs> Just <laughs> doing <laughs> deep breathing. <laughs> I won't make you ride the bike he made. I'm just saying it would make your father happy if you did. Take your places at the starting line, dads and sons. Hey, Dad. Hey, where's your cool bike? I'm riding it. What could be cooler than a bike made by my dad? Yeah, really? Yeah. Any dad can go out and buy a bike. You love me enough to make one yourself. That's what makes it cool. Aw, uh, you're just saying that. So? Right! Let's go. We've got a race to win. On your marks. Get set. Go! <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> Isn't that sweet? Oh, sweetie, you feel warm. And you look positively green. Warm? Green? Those are all the symptoms of steamed broccoli. Get the thermometer and the salad shooter. I'd better get the fish a thermometer, too. Good news, honey. I'm fighting the Dinkelberg's robot car tomorrow. Timmy, what are you doing up this late? It's way past your bedtime. But, uh, but... No buts. Straight to bed, young man. And don't make me get the giant robot in here. Timmy, what are you doing in here? Yeah, You were just in there. Uh, no, I wasn't. Well, that settles that. But you know you're not supposed to eat sweets this late at night. Or change from pink to green. Timmy, I said I wanted this room clean. If it's not spotless by 9 o'clock tonight, you're grounded. No! Honey, no! It's too horrifying. Okay, now I wish the chin back into the book, eh? I wish my parents had superpowers again. And we're Mighty Mom and Dino Day! Well, that was odd. Evil needs fighting in Dimsdale. I'm Chet Ubecha. In what can only be described as a 10-year-old's twisted comic book fantasy gone awry, Dimsdale is being overrun by super-powered freaks. Who you calling a freak? <coughs> Honey, no! It's too much evil! <coughs> There's no time for that! Mighty Mom and Dino Dad powers activate! Yeah! So give it back! Give it the super fight you want! It's a super fight you'll get! What? No cup holders? This is gonna be good! For evil! For justice! Hit girls. I'm not a girl, I'm a soccer mom. Your powers are powerless against the power zapping power of my nega vision power. That life is sucking my strength, losing muscles and tune. Getting less buff. Oh, no! We've lost our powers! This is terrible! The Nega Chin took your parents' powers away! If only the Crimson Chin were here! Oh, sure. Ask for another guy in tights. Surrender, evildoer! Job helping me defeat the Negachin, but next time, leave the superheroing to the superheroes like me. Because you two make a great pair of super parents. Hmm, that hair. Those pants. That hat. That reminds me, we've got to go home and punish Timmy. Son, quick! What do you do that makes you feel young? Uh, look at my birth certificate. Work with me, boy. Something uh, else? Uh, make you buy me toys. Yeah! <laughs> Let's make me buy me toys! Can we have money for toys? What you gonna get with your toy money, Dad? 
Ooh, something I've wanted since I was a kid. A radio-controlled 55 Striker Z. With its massive tail fins, huge engine, and two-tone paint job, it was the coolest toy car ever. Why, that car over there? <laughs> Holy, I'm not an old guy. It's a real Striker Z. <laughs> that car. How much for that car? It's not my car. I have $50. Then it's $50. And Timmy has $50. Then it's a hundred dollars! Deal! Dad! Wait! Dad, can we please play ball now? In a minute, Timmy. Just as soon as I'm done fixing up my new son. I mean, car! You don't think he's gonna get all crazy about the car, do you? That's a yes! And I've immortalized this yes in this painting called Your Dad is All Crazy About His Car! And lo, it is done! Cool! Can we go for a ride? If by we, you mean the car and me, then the answer is yes! You've spent all week with that car. Can we please do something together today? You mean like go to the Dimsdale Auto Show together? That'd be great! You mean I can go? <laughs> I wish! But it's the Dimsdale only if you're old enough to drive an auto show. It's just for cars and the young adults who drive them. Like me <laughs> and not you. Cool! I feel fast and furious. I feel lucky. I feel like driving like a maniac. voice that reminds me of someone I never spent time with? Yeah, whatever. What else can you do? Just let me do it. You can steer yourself? You are the coolest car ever. See the genius car? It talks, it drives itself, and it's got lucky dice. But it doesn't have a bathroom. I'll be right back. Sounds like Timmy! He must have stowed away in the trunk of the Striker Z! Timmy, hang on! I'm coming! Grandpa. No time to decipher your hip young lingo, son, but I'd be ever so grateful if I could commandeer your battery-powered transportation vehicle. You mean my scooter? Whoa, whoa, you've lost me again. I'll also need your safety devices. You mean my helmet? Work with me, boy. <laughs>
Here he's dead. to tell him to never try a stupid stunt like that. Young lingo, son. <laughs> Hi, Mr. Turner. There's a perfectly good explanation for why I took back my car. I'm sure there is, but I don't care. I just shredded my way through my midlife crisis. I just want my son out of the trunk. Timmy! Here he comes! What is the matter with you? You could have been killed. Oh, like you care. You're only worried about your stupid car. You never even let me ride in it, ever. Of course I didn't. With its lack of airbags, rope seat belts, and pointy metal body, that car is a screaming metal death trap. I'd never risk your life by letting you ride in it. So you were ignoring me to protect me? I was ignoring you because I love you, Tommy. So I can buy the car back? It's all yours. And I'm all yours. Come on, son. Let's go play some catch. Cool. Good morning, Dimsdale. I'm Chet Ubecha. Next up, a look at our neighboring rival city, Brightburg, which has once again been voted the best place to live. But that's not everything, you know. Yeah. But first, here's the morning weather with a man not nearly as handsome as me, Stormy Rains. You think it'll be finally nice enough to go fishing today, Dad? Ooh, it better be, or we'll take our anger and frustration out on the weatherman. Cool, because... Uh, uh, the weather is on! Wow, people in this town sure are nuts about the weather. Uh, 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 the weather is on! Today's weather, sunny, a perfect day for outdoor activities, like fishing. Yay! Honey, Timmy, you'll never guess what happened to me this morning. I won the Mrs. Dimsdale pageant. I... That's nice. Great super, that's nice. Bye. Bye. Hey, Sonny, I, I meant rainy. Can a guy make one mistake? Get the Cheer up, Dad. The forecast might have been wrong yesterday, but I'm sure we'll get it right today. And now, here's our new weatherman. The also much less prettier than me, Johnny Downpour. Thanks, Chet. Guess whose pie won first prize? Have a weather! Uh, today will be, uh, sunny, please? <laughs> ah, did I say sunny? Ah, I meant freezing! What's the matter? Weatherman! Must beat Weatherman once I thaw. Johnny Downpour was run out of town yesterday by an angry mob. <laughs> yes! I mean... <clears throat> It's always a shame to lose a valued member of the new Seven family. I'm tired of you two paying more attention to the weatherman than you do to me. Eh? So I entered the Be the New Weather Person contest. And the winner of the Be the New Weather Person contest is... Jimmy Turner's mom! I won! <laughs> what? Why didn't you tell us you entered that contest? I'm sorry, but if you want to listen to me now, you'll have to do it at 9 a.m., noon, 5, 6, 10, and 11. Well, son, now that your mom has a high-profile career, I'm going to have to assume more responsibility and be both your mom and dad. Good thing I made this mom puppet. Hello, Timmy. I'm mom. Uh-huh. 
Stop ignoring me! Guys, I don't know about this. Every time the weather person makes a wrong prediction, they get run out of town by an angry mob. I don't want my mom to get run out of town by an angry mob. Oh, I'll bet she'll do great. But just in case... <laughs> what? And now here's our new, new weather person, Timmy's mom. Uh, right now it's very cloudy. But it will clear up. And then a big gaping hole will appear downtown. And then it'll rain. Uh, back to you, Chet. This just in. An angry mob is formed outside the studio. Angry mob already? If that weather doesn't happen, they'll totally kill her. I wish all my mother's weather predictions would come true. Would you like me to autograph your ropes and torches? It's the new and correct weather person. Gentlemen, start your pitchforks. Oh. The clouds. They're gone. Just like she said. Well, there's still no giant hole. And now there is. Wow! I must be really good at this. run out of town she is, which means I won't be needing these. Come on, let's get home before Dad figures out we're gone. You've only been gone 15 seconds. You think your dad would be worried? Where were you? There was a 15 second period. I had no idea where you were. Jeez, Dad, relax. Would Mom get this upset? I don't know. Let's ask her while I'm drinking a glass of water. I think he was getting too hard on Timmy. Oh, sure, take his side. No amount of therapy will ever make this moment okay. Hey, the news is on! It's time for Action News at 6. With Chechabacha on today's news. But who cares about that? Because with the weather, it's Dimsdale's own Mother Nature! She's 100% accurate 100% of the time. She's Dimsdale's hottest TV personality! Hey! 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 Morning, Mom! Uh... <laughs> Dad did the funniest thing yesterday! And by funny, I mean creepy! And with a puppet! Uh, you're still mad at me and Dad for not listening, aren't you? Not very fond of getting the cold shoulder, are you? Good news! We're having gelatin brand gelatin for breakfast! And I filled it with broccoli, so it's healthy! And look, no matter how much it jiggles, the broccoli stays safely in place! Uh, I miss Mom. And I miss the angry mobs! But we're both going to have to move on. It's time for Dimsdale's number one half-hour newscast with Chet You Betcha. And with her expanded 29-minute, 59-second weathercast, Timmy's Mom! What? What about me? I'm hot, too. Gosh, I don't mean to rain on Mr. You Betcha's parade. And now, here's my forecast. Wow, she's good. She predicted weather that defied the laws of science. I know what you mean by that. You think she's prettier than me. Come back! Uh, I sure wish there was a way to get Mom back here. Well, you could always try doing what Cosmo does when he does something wrong. Lane Wanda, it's all your fault. Stop yelling at me! Ow, ow, ow! Maybe I'll just apologize. Mom, I know Dad and I weren't paying enough attention to you. And I'm sorry. Aww. Apology accepted. I miss you too. So you'll come home and make Dad get rid of that creepy puppet? Well, I, I can't just quit. I have a contract. Hmm. 
If I predicted weather that destroyed the town, they'd have to run me out of the destroyed town! Mom! No! Wait! Tonight I'm predicting hail the size of minivans. Then, um, the world's largest lightning storm! And, um, oh, 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 and then we'll have a massive earthquake! But the good news is tomorrow, if we're still alive, it'll be nice enough to fish! Oh, no! My wish! Because my mom predicted that, it's all gonna happen! Cosmo Wanda! I wish my mom was wrong about the weather! Too late! She's already predicted it! It's gonna happen anyway! I told you it was a stupid wish. Why don't you listen? We'll have to get creative. Come on, we've got weather to stop. It's time to fool Mother Nature! What's first? Hail! The size of minivans! Minivans. I wish there was a giant trampoline over Dimsdale. Nutritious last meal. No matter how much it jingles, the broccoli stays in place. That's it! I wish the town was protected by gelatin brand gelatin! It's working! And it's delicious! It's been chaos in worst place to live, Brightburg. But who cares? Mama, you betcha son is number one again! More lemonade? As you tell me about your day? Yes, and thank you. Aw, that's sweet! They are finally listening to her! Yeah, but as far as everybody knows, she got the weather wrong! Where's the angry mob? I want my angry mob! <laughs> Leave me alone! I'm just a puppet! A puppet, I tell you! Get out of here! 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 Get